Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday and you know what that means. It's time to reset and get ready for a new beautiful week. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking, cooking, cleaning, decorating, and DIY. And I would love it if you would subscribe. It's totally free. And if you're returning, it's so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful day. My favorite thing to do on Sunday to prep for the week ahead is to get my block schedule together as far as the week is concerned. I like to do my meal planning, so I like to look up different recipes, decide what I'm going to be cooking for breakfast and dinner. Lunch, I kind of go off the cuff, and then I like to get a grocery list together of items I need to go pick up on my own and items that I can have delivered. I like to use the Shipt app, that way I can cut down on time, and while somebody else is doing the shopping, I can do the cleaning. But let's get started on that list and then we're going to get started on cleaning. Okay guys, so I've got my little list here of breakfast and lunch excuse me, for breakfast and dinner for this week. I'm going to be doing a pho for the family because this Monday is going to be a little cold. It also marked these are hot days. So we'll probably be barbecuing potentially those days. Um, we're going to do smashed tacos and homemade chipotle dip, uh, pulled pork sandwiches, and then maybe a chicken curry on Thursday. I'm not sure though. I started to compile my list and I went ahead and added everything to my shipped order. Now what I need to do is go into May and start to build this week's schedule. So we have Mother's Day on Sunday. I have a hair appointment on Wednesday and a couple meetings throughout. I like to put together the tasks that I have coming up and then each morning I will actually go ahead and put my daily block schedule together. But this is a great way to just kind of keep everything that you have high level um, right here where you need it. And then um, I use my personal planner every single day and I slip that into a little sleeve so that makes it nice and easy if you guys are looking for this planner I will link it down below um, I will use this until July and then I always start my year over again in July I don't know why I've always done that um, so we will use this uh, up until June so I've got about two more months and then we will retire this one and start with a new one the new planner that I have is actually a daily block schedule calendar so it's much thicker than this um, I had this one because I was still kind of on the go and now that I'm predominantly working from home I don't need that so I'm gonna get a much larger planner so anyway, that's what we're gonna do right now once I'm done doing this I've already put my shift order in I am going to make the bed and start all of my Sunday chores and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me okay guys Let's get planning. After a long weekend of all the kids jumping and playing in our bed, I wanted to change the sheets out. Take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Helix Sleep. You guys know I've had my Helix mattress for about two years now and I'm obsessed with it. If you're not familiar with Helix Sleep, Helix Sleep has premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped to your door. I absolutely love it. They have a sleep quiz, which matches your perfect mattress to your body type sleep preferences. I took the test with my husband and the Helix Midnight Lux came up. I absolutely love this one because I'm also a hot sleeper and this particular mattress comes with Geotex cover, which is a great way to stay cool, especially during the hot months coming up. Once you take the test and find the perfect mattress for you, Helix delivers your mattress right to your door, free shipping in the US, and it comes rolled up in a box and it's easy. It just You just cut it open and it pops out. They also provide a 10 night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure that you love it and a 10 year warranty. They also offer financing options and flexible payment methods. Thank you again to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Their Memorial Day sale is coming up and it's a great time to upgrade your mattress. Starting May 15th, you can get 25% off your purchase. And in case you guys missed that, you can always go to helixsleep.com slash Lauren Nicholson for 20% off your mattress and two free pillows.
about you guys, but Sunday night is typically one of my favorite days of the week because I love to get into a nice, well-made, nice and clean bed. I also do a little self-care routine every Sunday night, which I'll be sharing in an upcoming video, which is perfect for Mother's Day if you just need a little rest and relaxation at home. But I have to tell you, it feels so good to slide into a nice, clean bed. I also wanted to add a little touch of spring, so I'm gonna add a little different decor in here. I'm gonna add back my favorite little spring blanket. I love this. I got this at Home Goods. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon as well. It has a really lovely little lace detail and I just think it's so sweet for summer and spring. And then I'm also gonna be adding some new florals in here and just making it a nice, lovely place to spend the rest of the week. bedroom's nice and clean. I did the floors yesterday, but I really wanted to get a new bedding on here. Hi, Tuna. What you doing? Want to say hello? Okay. Um, and I just added some cute little florals over here. I love this bedding. I use it almost, almost every single spring, but I just think it's so pretty. And um, I have everything ready for my Sunday. Uh, self-care Sunday p.m. routine which I'm going to do tonight I will film and share with you I ended up switching out my husband's jacket putting one of his um, dad's silks in there and then Chewy's down here I'm just trying to make his days as comfortable as possible huh Chewy I know I love you he's struggling but uh, we did see a um a uh, red fox out on the, sorry, I was trying to listen to the it. Ooh, it's a beautiful day. It's been raining a bunch and today is nice and clear. But um, yeah, we saw a red fox out here. So we've been making sure it's safe out here. Doing a little replanting. Um, in the next week or two, I ordered a bunch of string lights. We are going to build a giant pergola here and string lights and do like a um, kind of an end of school year dinner party for some parents at our school. So that'll be fun and obviously clean all this up. Lots of fun, exciting things happening out here. But the bedroom is looking very nice. And now we're just gonna keep going on with our Sunday. The next thing I want to do is continue to rotate the laundry. I have been trying to stay on top of it. So every morning before I make my coffee, I have actually been rotating the laundry and today is no exception. So we're going to keep doing that. I also wanted to organize all the kids' backpacks and shoes. I feel like every little part of this house, because things still aren't as organized as I'd like, becomes a catch-all. So like every pair of shoes, if kids see like two pairs of shoes in one area, that's where they're going to start putting shoes or backpacks. Even though I have a designated basket for it, it just doesn't seem to be the way it functions in our house. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this area, get it all clean and vacuum just so it's a nice clean space. Now 
that I've gotten the floor done, I wanna do a little restocking in here. I just have some cat food and some laundry and house cleaning items that I wanna put away. I also wanna just really tidy up where the kids' clothes are gonna go tomorrow. So I removed all the shoes that they don't need and then I'm just gonna lay out what they're gonna need for Monday morning just to make things a whole lot smoother for me. this cleaning done the groceries were delivered so I'm gonna head into the pantry and just restock on snacks for the week I like to change it up as often as I can I also need to restock on things for like breakfast and dinner so we're gonna go ahead and add some more of that to the pantry and then I'm gonna head into the kitchen and we're gonna do the same thing for the refrigerator some super fun recipes coming up this week. I'm going to be doing a carnita smash taco with homemade chipotle dipping sauce. I'm going to be doing a pho soup, which I've done on my channel before, so I probably won't share that. We're going to be doing same uh, pulled pork sandwiches with some spicy slaw, and I think I'm going to try a new... Um, scallop sage dish. I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to figure out what spices I want to put in there, but I'm definitely going to be sharing those on my channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I've slowly been trying to clean out the garage, another catch-all in the house. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take you guys in there or not because it's really, really messy. I've just kind of been throwing things in there as I'm trying to get this house organized, but I found these beautiful spring stems that I've had forever. If you guys remember, I always put them in the entryway at the Victorian and I just missed them. So I thought I would put a nice little arrangement together and bring a nice pop of pink in here. My husband and my daughter have been doing um, some painting over in the corner here. I'll show you guys a little later in this video and I thought it'd be just nice to put some nice flowers up for them. The next project of the day is to clean out the kids' work bin. I say 
save every single thing my kids make. I know that seems like a lot. It probably is, to be honest, but um, I have four kids and um, every semester I like to kind of go through the bin and pull out things. I think our kids are on trimesters, excuse me, but I like to pull out work that's just kind of throw away and then keep their artwork, special tests and things and little notes and whatever is kind of meaningful. And then I will file all that away. I have a lot of it. Um, and at the end of the year, I will go through everything that I kept. So I usually edit down about 80%, but I do like to keep it all. It's so special and memorable. And eventually I'll figure out something really cute to do with it all. Feels so good to have the house nice and clean before I start dinner, but I wanted to show you this fun little project my husband and our daughters have been working on. So my husband is a pretty accomplished painter, um, doesn't do it all the time, but I've been asking him to do a couple special pieces. And my daughter had a um, mission project, which is something we do here in California. And he helped her paint this, which was a photo they took because they went and did a tour of the mission. And then uh, he taught her how to layer these paintings. They are on the second day of another painting that they're working on, which is what I just showed you, which is a really beautiful place in the south of France that we went to last year. So I cannot wait to see how that one comes together. But um, I just thought I'd show you the little details of um, what he's going to put in that painting. But I will help probably film a little bit of it so you guys can follow along if you guys are really into painting. I always find it fascinating to watch because I have zero skills when it comes to that. Our kids also just brought home some pieces they did um, to show my husband from school and I just thought it's so beautiful. I just think art is so incredible and such an interesting medium uh, and so unique to the artist. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, but let's walk around and I'll show you everything we've accomplished today. While I was filming in here, I could smell something super delicious of barbecuing outside. So I thought I'd take you guys out there and see what my husband is cooking on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. These ribs look so delicious. I cannot wait to have lunch. I also wanted to check on the garden. We went ahead and planted all of those strawberries and the extra herbs that I had um, that we had to replace. So everything is looking good, growing well, and I cannot wait for the next couple weeks to go by so we can start to harvest some of these beautiful vegetables. The chickens are happy. Their new coop is up and running. We are getting about 12 to 14 eggs a day from our chickens. It is wild. Wild. I've had to just start giving them away to all our neighbors because it's more eggs that I know what to do with but they're very happy and it feels great to have them in this safe area especially with a red fox around the neighborhood okay guys let's get cooking For dinner tonight, I'm going to be making everything bagel crusted salmon over a fully loaded mashed potato. I cannot wait to get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 350. We're gonna bake up some of this delicious bacon, which we'll be chopping up and throwing into our potatoes later. The next thing we're gonna do is just peel about five potatoes. I'd say about a potato for every person in your house. And then we're just gonna boil those on the stove. To prep the salmon, this is really easy. You're gonna to wanna to get some nice fillets and I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller since we have small kids. I don't need such big ones and we're just gonna cut them up into even sizes. I'm gonna season the skin side with some salt, flip those over and then I'm going to be adding a nice layer of everything bagel seasoning. I get mine from Trader Joe's, it's super delicious but you can also make your own. Once you have a nice kind of um, crust on top, I like to use a little Pam or spray some olive oil on there just to help it really stick and stay on it's going to be so good and it also keeps the seasoning from burning mm -hmm. 
In a cast iron skillet, we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then bring that to a medium heat. We will put each piece of salmon in here. You're gonna wanna leave them about an inch apart or maybe like a half an inch apart. That way they can fully cook on the sides. Once you see the bottom starting to get nice and crispy and brown, we are gonna actually throw this into the oven for about five minutes so the rest of the salmon can cook and it doesn't burn the skin below, but also brings all the flavors of the everything bagel throughout the salmon. While that's cooking, I'm gonna chop up our bacon and we're gonna get our fully loaded mashed potatoes ready to go. I don't make the healthiest mashed potatoes. I like to add in about three tablespoons of butter and one fourth cup to a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream and whip it up. It makes the fluffiest and most delicious mashed potatoes. Don't forget to add a little bit of salt for seasoning. To prep tonight's dinner, I'm gonna be adding a nice giant mountain of mashed potatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese to the top of this. You can actually use any cheese you'd like, but this happens to be my favorite for this dish. On top, I'm gonna to add that crunchy fresh bacon, some green onions, and two pieces of that yummy everything bagel crusted salmon. I like to put a little bit of sriracha on top if you wanna kick it up a notch. Don't forget to do a dollop daisy. I also put some fresh cheddar from my mom's garden on here and voila you have a everything bagel crusted salmon over fully loaded mashed potatoes i hope you guys like this recipe if you did tell me in the comments down below and thank you again to helix mattress for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check out their memorial day sale starting on may 15th you will get 25 percent off your purchase by going to helixsleep.com lauren nicholson okay guys i'll see you in the next video real soon bye